Bourbon Bill. Welcome back to this debacle of a show. Day 8, December 8th. Coming off uh, a very wrong call yesterday. Hoping to redeem myself today. Stay tuned to see if that occurs. Ah, uh, the old magical whiskey box here. Day number 8. I hope uh, this one turns out a little better than yesterday. Yesterday was a little rough. Ho! Oh, a single popper. Alright, while we let this rest here a second, let's uh, recap yesterday. Called a, a bourbon that I thought was port finished, turned out to be Colonel E.H. Taylor, right? Complete disaster. Um, did manage, though, to salvage a point for the old price category. So, hoping today is A, a more delicious whiskey, and B, don't look like such an idiot. So, color here, again, kind of medium, not super dark. Uh, the legs seem to be forming and just disappearing quick. I mean, this is like a ghost whiskey. So let's take a, a nosing of it here. It smells cheap and young. Smells like we're on a tight budget. Um, and also in all seriousness, now I'm getting a lot of grainy youth notes on this. It does come off. There's like a. It's a, it's almost like pie crust. Like an apple pie crust. That's what I'm getting on this. Not the apples themselves, just the pie crust. Alright, let's take a sip. Okay. Hotter than I expected. Um, I don't know what that is. A lot of cinnamon on the palate. Um, it's actually a little more viscous than I thought. Maybe some medium mouth feel on that one. Maybe I'm getting like some some brandied pears now. It's kind of like a fruit pie on this one. Take another sip. You get a rush of fruit, some baking spice throughout. Some some nice oak uh, notes in the back actually. For as, as much as I'm not the biggest fan of this nose, it's not bad, it's just not great. The palette's a lot better. Um, I just don't know what this is. Um, I would actually say that the higher proof helps, and I think this is actually... I would rate this higher than, than the E.H. Taylor yesterday. I know that could be a shock to some. Alright, price. I just don't think this is overly expensive. I'm going to go with $50 on price just to kind of hedge myself either way. Proof. Oh. Oh, the old proof. I'm going with 105 for proof. I definitely think it's at least 100 and maybe like slightly more, so I'm going to hedge in the middle. So I'm going to go $50 price. 105 proof. Man, bottle guess though? I don't know. I'm, I got kind of a, like, a notes of tobacco maybe on this one now too. I mean, it was coming across as fruit, but it was kind of... There's maybe like a little bit of a tobacco punch in there. I really don't know what today's is. I'm actually going to guess it's some kind of maker's variety. I think, I think what threw me off was that there's wheat as a secondary grain in this bourbon. So I'm going to go with some sort of maker's variety um, and we'll stick with my previous guesses. Let's find out what I was drinking today. Day number eight. Come on, baby. Need some points. Ho! Oh! Well, well, well. We are getting plenty of points today. So, $59.99 price point. But wait, what is it, Bourbon Bill? None other than Maker's Mark 46 cast strength. So, 
so somewhat redeemed. If you didn't watch yesterday's, just skip it. What you need to watch was today's video because we called Maker's Mark here. Maker's Mark 46 cash strength, 110 proof. So I do get proof. Um, $59.99, so I get price. And I did say a Maker's Mark uh, cash strength variety. So I'll give myself that. It's a three point day here. Those have been hard to come by on this channel so far. So let me go grab the bottle and we'll take a look at it. And we're back with that bottle. Here it is. Here we are with the bottle. Maker's Mark 46. Cash strength. It is a little 375. I got this in a little tasting set. Uh, Maker's Mark Generation Approved. I do enjoy this one. It did not smell very good, but the, the flavor was there. Good mouth coating feel. Um, 110.3, but we'll ignore that uh, for the day. And then this is uh, Maker's Mark 46. Uh, so if you don't know, the Maker's Mark 46 is a, is 10 French oak staves that they add that they add to the barrels to they're just the regular cash rate. They add to those barrels and age it for a little bit extra time to give that flavor. So. If you have not tried this, I would definitely pick one up. It's a very good Maker's Mark product. These are limited edition, but at least in PA, I've seen the big bottles around, um, I would say, a good part of the year. They haven't been here all year, obviously, but I have seen the bottles around. So, great. If you like Maker's Mark and you haven't had the Maker's Mark 46 cash drink, 100% pick it up. It, I think it's way better than regular Maker's Mark 46. So if you like what you saw today, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. See if I can keep up this winning streak. Thanks, and have a great evening.